is Studio One Seven Pro worth the upgrade? No. And yes, it depends on who you are. Now you're looking at this video because you wanted answers, and I'm you don't like that answer, but that's the only thing I have for you. It all it just all depends on you and where you're trying to go, where you are currently, where you're trying to go. Are you someone new in this ecosystem? You want to know, like even if it's you know you someone that's looking to get into, is, is this something I should get into? Absolutely. I think you should try it out and see if this works or you can just subscribe to the channel like the video by the way and stick around because this is where we create content using studio one able to lie on bitwig i kind of cover all of those things here but more importantly my videos is based on music production i don't really go after i because this is new i will be obviously be covering a lot of stuff like how to do's inside of Studio One Seven, but I like to create music, and the things that I use, like the virtual instruments and effects and whatnot, those things make up what happens in terms of the sound that comes out of programs like this. Programs like Studio One Seven is a platform that provides you the ability to do your best any doll that you're using currently is the best doll i'm i want to push that out but is studio one seven worth it the tools that it offers you know i look at it as there's tools you know i'm also transparent about everything or at least i try to be i do still feel like there is create creativity lacking in here now if you've seen the initial video the initial video basically it, it clean or cleared up a lot of things which that that video hold a lot of weight for this reason i look at things from a different perspective when i saw the initial video when they had announced Studio One Seven for the very first time. I was looking at where we heading. They slash prices, which makes it a, a lot more affordable to people who wanted to get in the ecosystem. That's good stuff there, you know. They tried to simplify the subscription deal. By the way, perpetual license still exist guys some of you guys came on the channel and was like yep not for me i'm not paying these these fees and i'm like well there is no monthly fees or yearly fees if you don't want to pay them you can still buy the perpetual license to seven and be done and when eight come out or nine or whatever or the next year comes around it's up to you to upgrade to that or not you don't lose access see what i'm saying so if studio 110 comes out and you still in seven guess what you still have the opportunity to open up seven and it should work fine for you no problem you know that's just how it works right now the studio one pro plus plan is designed for those who who wants the extra stuff you know and it also provide affordability to those who don't have the 179 or the 199 or whatever you know something up there i remember a time where this was 399 or 499 i can't remember but it was up there and now they make make it more affordable which is dope so it's like we have several options to take advantage of is it worth it? Yeah. Or no. <laughs> I'm a, I'm gonna stay right there. I've been right there for years. It depends on you. I encourage you to watch several videos. See if it resonates with you. Just watch other people work 
And there are, there are going to be a lot. Of, by the way, I've seen a lot of people. I've seen a lot of people posting stuff on this thing. So the Studio One Seven is a big deal. It's huge. <laughs> Everybody and their mama is talking about it. And um, big ups to Fender. You know, this whole accusation thing that happened, we was all on our tippy toes. We didn't know what to expect. And I must say, after, I thought, well, it's not too bad. It's not too bad. The type of effects that, or the updates we got, I, I have to tell you guys, I did not expect these type of updates. I just didn't expect that. I don't know if that was ever in the pipeline even before Fender came on board or is this Fender like actually taking initiative to actually, you know, I don't know. I would say in the past, personas has always listened to their community, but I think they took things that they, they, they listened to us, but they didn't do everything. You see what I'm saying? There's a list of things that you can only do at a time, I'm I'm guessing. You you can't do every single thing. And you know, that's a that's a marketing technique. You know, you can't give everybody everything. You gotta you gotta leave some for for the updates and upgrades, you know what I mean? Okay. All right, y'all, y'all want all this stuff, all right. Pay us some more money, you know. I get it. I totally get it. That's just how it goes right now, you know, but um, I was a little disappointed though. I didn't see some things that I've been asking about for 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 a while now, and was expecting impact and sample one to be you know updated and but it's cool because there's clip launch, you know there are some welcome features in here that's kind of pacifying us for a little bit until until those updates happens. There's no note effect. They haven't touched that. The browser still looks the same. But with a welcome added feature with integration with Splice. You know, it's it's cool. You know? It's definitely easier way to grab stuff from from Splice. Usually the stuff from Splice is pretty dope, you know add that right in your project boom instead of having a separate app you know that's cool that's 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 workflow enhancement you know but before that can we have some creative tools you know i'm always going to resort or or compare i'm gonna use ableton all day as a comparison by the way when i bring up ableton it's not really a comparison. It's just bringing context or inspiration, should I say. Inspiration to the conversation as to what we can look at and kind of, in you know, be inspired by what they're doing and throw that in Studio One. You know what I'm saying? Or some iteration of it, you know. Like, for instance, I've been talking about or comparing Ableton Simpler Sampler and a new one that they have now, the drum rack also, with our impact and sample one. I did a video. As a matter of fact, it was a live stream. Someone tried to um, voice their thoughts on how these are not comparable. Like you can't, um, again, it's not me comparing them, although that's, that is kind of what I'm doing, but I'm using Ableton as inspiration or using it as reference to describe the type of advancements that we are looking for. 
in Studio One. We're looking for Impact to do what Drum Pack, drum, dr the drum rack can do. By the way, in Ableton, the drum rack is just the pads. Those pads can hold containers such as Simpler. Simpler is Sample One. That would be cool if the Impact can do that. Have a bunch of Sample Ones within the pads. I feel like that can be done after they added or advanced the view that can be now seen in the piano roll section as a device. Their explanation for doing that was, you know, people complaining about how big impact was because they're on smaller computer screens. So instead of giving us the option to resize it, they just throw it in there. Put a little code in there and just throw it in. And, and that was a device. That's basically what it is. It's not an update. It's just a new access point to Impact. That's all it is. There's no update. Like Impact is doing the same exact thing. You know, I want to make that clear. Because some people think that that's a, oh my gosh, they, no, nah, bro, it's just, now you can just see it down there. It's, it, it's doing the same thing. Anyway, I feel like over time they would add other plugins and virtual instruments and, you know, just whatever. And hopefully we'll see no effects in here and be able to do really cool things and more sample engines and blah, 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 blah. So, you want to know what I think. This is the part where I explain what I think. You know, me as a music producer, composer, professional, I think Studio One is solid. All the day that they add Sandbox to plugins, that would be really nice. It does seem like I'm complaining a lot. I, I, I really don't want to be that guy but you know i think i think student one is solid for what it is you know i see what they're doing i see that they're making updates i see they're listening to the community because like i say i have i couldn't see no clip launch in here I, that that one is far beyond like i would have never expect that and they just shocked us with that however right now it's just very simple you know there's no way to duplicate it there's no way to double the content, you know, things like that. But it's just simple. It's there. It's a it's a workflow. It's added. I feel like it's it's a nice little addition. You don't have to use it if that's not something you're into. But for those of us that use that method for inspiration, that's now we can use that, which is really cool. So there you have it. My real thoughts about all of it. Yeah, I would recommend I would recommend this to people, you know. It's it's certainly going to be a conversation, you know. It's is it worth it? Yes. And no. Again, it, it depends on you. I can't stress that enough. It depends on you. I encourage you guys to look at mini videos, sit back, see if there's something that resonate with you. If you vibing with how that YouTuber is is putting stuff together, then go ahead and you know what I'm saying. You know, if you one of those ones that are like, no, I'm not upgrading to this because they didn't do this or they didn't blah blah blah. Well, you know, there you go. You you're not you're not gonna upgrade. You're probably gonna still be looking at other people though, because you know it's a, it's in our nature. It's like I know. I complain, but I like to see people put it to work, you know what I mean, or anything. I like, I just like music and the creation behind it, and I'll, I'll watch anybody. If you fire, I'm watching, you know what I'm saying? But that's my thoughts, my take on what I feel about Studio One Seven and my thoughts on if it's worth it or not. 
like I'm, I'm not really really totally sure about what people's what what exactly were you expecting when you asked that is it worth it why do people ask that question is it worth it what do you mean like to, for something to be worth it is to see value in something you know what i mean when you go to a store you're you're going to buy something according to its value and and so the value taps into self want you know and also the price you see something you want you walk up check it out see it all right yeah this is nice how much is this oh oh no this is way too much i'm not spending that much money on it you put it back down on the shelf it loses its value to you because you you don't see yourself paying that or you're like you know i don't have the money now but i'm definitely going to come back and get it and at that point is it depends on what you do at that point are you going to make note of it you, a lot of us use our phone we take pictures just you know snapshot that you know to remind ourselves that we're coming back or we just start making plans like okay um i get paid in the next couple of days or the next two weeks um and i gotta make sure i set money aside to come back and grab this this here you know what i mean or you'll go and look up Google, you know, Amazon, find that same thing at a cheaper price. You know what I'm saying? You know, value is all about what it means to you. If, if you and for those things that you don't resonate with, that you're you're, you're not, you know, when you go to a store, you walk past a lot of things as well. You know what I'm saying? There's a lot of things in the store, but everything don't appeal to you. They appeal to other people. Are you one of the ones that just will walk past Studio One Seven? It don't appeal to you. Well, that's totally fine, you know. Or you might stop, stop by and say, you know, I'm gonna subscribe to Ellip's channel because he's really awesome. You know, there's value here, and I'm, I'm gonna see what he's talking about. I'm, you know, I'm gonna stay parked here. And, and see what this Studio One Seven is about. Then you know that value deal is starting to creep up, or the the value is is starting to gain momentum at that point. You know what I mean? And then it's just some of you guys are like, "Bet I'm grabbing it. I'm downloading it right now as we speak." While I'm looking at you, Ella, it's downloading, or it's already on my system as I'm listening to you, you know what I'm saying? It's on my system and I just like watching what other people think and what they're saying and blah, 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 whatever. You know what I'm saying? Don't worry about it. Don't worry about if it's worth it or not. You go with your gut feeling. Don't buy it because you see me working in it or you see somebody else. I mean, a lot of us are influenced. Hence the word influencer. A lot of us are influenced by some of the people we respect. I appreciate you guys for for you know watching the video and and you know cherishing the things that I say. But I just say the best doll is the one you're using. If you're in the market to upgrade, go ahead and upgrade because you were thinking about it. If you got to ask a question, go ahead. You know what I'm saying? Go ahead and upgrade. But maybe not. You know what I mean? If I say that the safest, the the safest way with something like that, if you have to ask the question, I say don't do it. Don't don't do it. I learned this from my father. If you doubt it, don't don't do it. The moment you start doubting something, just don't do it. You know. Just don't do it. The, the The worst thing that could happen is, you know, one day you're like, dang. You know, I need studio. And, you know, Studio 17 will be here. The moment where you where you begin the the thought of where you feel like you need it now. When you, when you surpass the do I need this or not? Is it worth it? Because then you see value.
the point where you where you checking your bank account and making sure you got the money to go ahead and then you already passed it. Is it worth it or not? You know what I mean? Y'all y'all get what I'm saying? I, I hope I'm making some making this clear for some people because it's like if you gotta ask the question then don't do it. But you was curious. But you wanted to see what other people are saying. Just don't do it. That's that's my thoughts. Cause you will regret it if you go ahead and do it. Say like you if if I'm the one who convinced you to do it, you're gonna spend your money and then you're gonna be upset. Cause Studio One ain't doing what you thought. You know, you know what I mean? Like just watch enough videos to the point where it builds your a clear picture. You need a clear picture. If you got to stop and ask me if is it worth it, watch some more videos. <laughs> watch some more videos, bro. I don't know. I don't know if it's worth it to you or not. I, I'm not you. You know? Again, what are you doing? All of this stuff is based upon you. What are you doing? What are you trying to achieve? Where are you going? If you're just doing basic beats, you probably don't need this stuff. But it's pretty sweet, though. At the same time, you know, everything that's happening in here. But you have to know that it's pretty sweet. Me personally, I like it. I'll continue to do videos and show you guys, you know, what's happening. And hopefully you can make a decision. All right. I hope that works. Um, I hope that works. I'm thinking some mean things I could say, but let's say that for another video. I'm Ella B. Culture. Lifestyle Governor Bard.